Oh, yeah. This thing is nasty. They trying to do Lincoln nasty, yo. We hustle daily. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy. Big play rate coming to y'all with another cold part walk around. We about to still raining out here, man. We about to get in and get out. We got a couple of cars to check out today. I'm not sure if y'all remember, but that Pontiac, um, I showed y'all a while back, but I'll show y'all, but we definitely going to check that out. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you would do so for me, I would appreciate it, man. Uh, hit that notification bell. Subscribe to the Hustle Nation if you're a real hustler. Y'all already know how the game go. Follow me on the gram. I have been way more active on the gram, so make sure y'all follow me, hit me up, or whatever the case may be on the gram. Now, y'all who be hitting me up asking for Pacific cars, I don't look for Pacific cars. You know what I mean? Like some of y'all, y'all be going into detail. Y'all be like, man, I want a red one with the two TVs in the head in the, in the back. No, I'm not looking for Pacific cars, guys. But if you just want a car, you can hit me up on Instagram. But if you want like a 2008 Mercedes Benz uh, E50 or something like E350 or something like that, I'm not looking for no Pacific cars, guys. I'm sorry. I just, it just takes too much time for me to do, and it'll take me too much time for to find the right car for you. You know, these cars got to be checked out. They got to be good, unless you just want any car. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm quite sure you're not gonna be happy with that. With you know, something going on with the car. So, you know, if y'all gonna hit me up about that, I don't look up uh, Pacific cars. But if you got a question for me, you know what I'm saying, y'all can hit me up. But uh, yeah, make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com if you wanna learn how to buy and sell cars. You know what I mean? And I, I know that's another thing, y'all. Some of y'all, y'all ask me, ask me for, you know, certain information, but you know, that's what the academy for. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta get the academy. That's what the academy is for. You know, I'm gonna give you all the game. I'm gonna give you all the tips. I'm gonna give you all the tricks. You know, I don't want nobody selling you no lemon at an auction or a private party. You know what I mean? I know you're trying to get a car for your son or something like that. You might want to get WHD Academy. If you're trying to get into this auction game, learn how to flip cars, you might want to get to Academy. You feel me? So we're going to head right over here to Cold Part. Um, yeah, I think that's all I had to tell y'all. Let's go ahead and get right into it. What's up, Hustle Nation? This video has been sponsored to you by whdacademy.com, the online course that's gonna teach you everything you need to know about the auction game, all my tips on how to properly inspect cars, and most importantly, how to make money. As you can see, I've been doing this for a while, and as you can also see, I have plenty of testimonials on how I've helped others gain success in this business. So if you're interested in learning, be sure to click the link in the description below. All right, y'all, check it out. I found something different from y'all in here we got the new lincoln um man brand new cars man four thousand miles on this thing come on dog got the front is damaged the back is damaged everything's damaged man i think this is a 2020 it don't look that bad though it probably is definitely still run we about to see yep 2020 man 2020 Dang, it got some dents and dings are everywhere on this thing. What the heck did they do to this thing? Let's check how Lincoln kicking it these days, man. How Lincoln kicking it? We got the uh, we got the uh, brown and the tan interior. Smells brand freaking new in here. How Lincoln kicking this, man? How Lincoln kicking it? Kicking it. They got the nice little seats. Okay, these seats small cup holder all right heated back seats don't look like it's cooled but you get to heat it a uh, little hatch okay lincoln give you the long roof they did give you the long roof close that back Ugh. appreciate that lincoln y'all give me the long roof okay they did the mercedes thing and we got power okay Check out the dash, check out the steering wheel. It's 2020, y'all, it's 2020. Let me see if this is up. They get the little BMW thing, they took that from BMW. Oh, we hit the back on it. There were your lights and stuff. Is there a button? Yup, you got the button to go down. Okay. Oh, what we got here. So here's your center console, y'all. What we got? What we got? Drive modes. Little 
ports. We got the Lincoln with the badges. Let's push the start. They're gonna push the start button right there. Cranks right up. We got the screen. 4,000 miles on this thing. Check engine light on probably, you know, most likely because of what's going on. It's a V6 or V8, what y'all, I mean, V6 or four cylinder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for four cylinder. Sounds like a four cylinder when you hit the gas a little bit. But what y'all think, man? I think it look good. Let's let it back on the haters. Let it back on the haters. Man, you gonna go back for me some more? You gotta go all the way back on the haters, man. Hold up. Please, please go all the way back for the haters, man. Get out of here. Look at the vents, though, man. They got this vent, this vent, this long vent, and that vent. There's no way they got the wood trim right here. There's no way you should be freaking. I don't know where the heck that is, but you should be freaking. Um, oh, look at the park reverse neutral. Dry. Ooh, so you just put Ooh, we in drive. We in reverse. Oh, look at the look at the camera. Okay. It's sleek, man. Sleek, 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 sleek. Oh, sleek. Let's see what that is. center console looking like. Ain't nothing going on here. Yeah. So hood. But yeah, man, 2020. What y'all think? And it got the little so button for speaker to talk to somebody or something. Yep. What y'all think, man? Nice little, nice little car. Four cylinder. Is it? Yup, four cylinder, man. Little four cylinder. Y'all yeah, see it, man. This probably ain't not a bad little fix either. You know, it's a brand new car, so you know, parts is definitely probably gonna be expensive, but none too bad of a fix though, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's definitely new. That's definitely just came in here because this wasn't in here. So what y'all think about the new Lincoln? Let me know in them comments. Maybe, maybe. Oh, my umbrella got stuck. I found another one for y'all. A Lincoln MKC. MKC. I, uh, let's see if this is 2020. We're gonna have to set our umbrella down. No, nah, this is 2015. Okay. This is 2015. Huh? We can look at it anyway. I thought it was a brand new joint, but let's look at it anyway. Let's see. How they did from 15 to 2020. We could just look at it real quick. Uh, brown with the tan. Uh, can I see in here? I can't hardly see. We got the whole... I think this is a freaking door. What the heck is this? This door don't even go to this car. What the heck? It's a whole nother colored door in there. Dang! We can't even look in the car, y'all. This is a whole nother freaking car. Pump pump bumper in here, yeah. But as you can see, in 15, they was doing it kind of plain. They was doing it kind of plain, man. I don't see nothing in here compared to that other one. That other one, nice. The seat's nice, but everything else is plain. Jane, there's nothing going on. Nothing at all, man. Nothing at all. Nice little glove box. I don't know why those parts are in here. Because, ugh. Dang, which way was I going? I think I was going this way. I don't know why those parts in there because, uh, Dude, that, that don't go to that car, but man, that's the only thing, y'all. I'm looking for one car, and I cannot find it. It's crazy. So let me see if I find it, man. But I ain't about to be looking all day for this car, y'all. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So we got another. Uh, well, we actually looked at this car before. Um, me and my boy, everything's regular. Um, we looked at this car before. Um. I'm quite sure y'all remember that video, but it's actually for sale now. When we had came in here, it was not for sale. We was looking at it, but it's actually for sale right now. So I'm gonna show y'all the damage. It's a 2009 Pontiac uh, G8 GT. Um, yeah, it's actually for sale. Now y'all can see this thing is ready to go, man. So uh, you can see the little Cadillac wheels on it. I kind of like them wheels, man. It actually looks pretty sleek if you ask me but boom here's the damage here i don't think it's too bad honestly like of course you would need another door some windows and you know it'll probably have to be painted and everything like that you know um other than that i don't think the suspension is like tilted or anything it looks like everything is straight man if you can look from here um this thing actually cranks up and everything let me go ahead and show y'all 
we gotta get a back glass. Wow, we got the Brimbos. I wonder if they put that those on here. Y'all let me know in the comments below. Are those actually put on here, those Brimbos? Let's see what the fronts look like. Fronts got the Brimbos on it too. So yeah, man, this thing is this thing is nice, man. And one thing I noticed about this one is the interior. Like the interior is like different from you know all the other G8s that I see online because they got the actual red in here now i'm thinking that they didn't you know yeah it's definitely um i don't think they I think this is factory here i'm pretty sure i'm not sure though um let me, let me not cut myself but i want to let this down let me use the gloves actually so we can see so what we got in here just some trash probably the greaser LED bulb. So this thing probably got some LEDs in here last and everything. We didn't look back here and everything last time, but as you can see, we got some water. Not sure if you can't see, but definitely got some water in here because of, you know, it's been raining and everything. So uh, nothing too bad though. I'm quite sure that can be just like, you know, you could dry that up and get back on the road. Here's the front. As you can see, some nice seats in here, man. If I say so myself, it actually does crank up. It should. I'm not sure. It cranked up last time we was here. Let's see. And the key stuck and everything, but nope, it did not crank up. So I can go get a jump, though. But what they got in here, man? I guess a seat cover thing. But... Wow, I just noticed that this one got the heated and cool seats too. Let me go ahead and pop the hood for y'all so y'all can see. Ugh. And by the way, this one got only um, 95,000 miles on it. Um, well, what y'all listening to? We listened to that Drake and Future. You see him? Man, he wasn't playing. He was rolling. Let me show y'all the hood though. Did I tell you how much money they got on here, man? They got $3,700 on it right now with co-part fees, man. It's like $4,200, $4,300. Ooh, it's falling. So here it is, though. I know y'all seen this car before, but it got the MSD plugs. got the headers on it. Um, it got the uh, oil catch can right here. Um, you can see better from this side so you can see the headers and everything everything this must sound like a beast when you crank it up um i'll probably insert a clip of me cranking it up if i don't um have them crank up but i'm trying to see like how much this would cost to even you know uh rebuild see i'm not a rebuilder but I think something like this would be cool to rebuild, you know. Maybe we'll start doing something like that in the future. Oops. Start, start doing something like that in the future of, uh, you know, rebuilding cars. Because, um, but y'all let me know. 40, 3,700, look, 37, 38, 9, 44, 142. Yeah, like 43, $4,400 already for this thing. And remember, you're going to need doors. You got to find parts, you know. So, you know, you could probably find a V6, the, the, the G8 with the V6 in it. You could probably find them parts, but you got to get it painted and everything. If you don't find it in the black color, got to get some windshields, which may come with the door panels, maybe not. And you got to get the back windshield. And it looks like that's probably going to be maybe it. I'm not sure. But y'all check this thing out, though, man. This thing is definitely, definitely nice, though. I like the black uh, tail lights, everything. I just I like this car, man. So it's, it's a pretty nice car. So y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think. And like I say, if I don't crank it up, I'll probably insert the clip. So let's keep it moving. All right. For those of you who like Volkswagens and Volvos and stuff, I just figure I show y'all this. The interior got my attention. The interior definitely got my attention. Now this is an S90. I think I've had bought like a 2000 S. Might have been an S90 or S70, I don't remember, but old older car, 2001. And that one car, damn. And that one car is why we are going the front on the driver's side. Is why I do not buy Volvos no more. 
Well, I haven't bought another one since because I had bought one and they ain't gonna transmission start messing up on me, y'all. So I was like, you know what, Volvo, you blew it. Volkswagen, Volvo, everybody, y'all blew it. Y'all names sound too much the same, so they blew it. So we got the, I guess this peanut butter right here. Y'all already know I like to let this down to see what they done did extra to the center consoles. They give you a little thing, but they don't even give you nowhere to put your drink set. Oh, that's kind of weird, huh? And then, oh, okay. The other one must be broke. So you got the heated seats in here. Got some nice little weather mats they give you. The interior clean, though. Tell y'all what year this one is in a second. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, okay, Volvo. Okay, 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 okay. The steering wheel plane, but other than that, it's straight. Let me get in here real quick. Oh, okay, so engine. Did this thing start? What a start button at on this thing, y'all. Wow. So you would just turn it. That's how you turn it on. But it doesn't have uh, power, though, y'all. But as you can see the gauges, hopefully you can't see the gauges. You can see the screen. They get you a screen. A little box. Nothing. Center console. They get you a freaking long center console. And I think this one goes up, too, no? Nah. Dang, I got to do it manually. That sucks. And a little glove box, nothing, nothing serious in there. All right, so yeah, I like these though. I ain't gonna lie, I like they knobs. Other than that, they give you a sunroof. This is a 2017, by the way. Not sure if it's for sale or not, guys. I just like to, you know, show y'all the nice looking cars, the newer cars that I see out here that I have not seen before. So don't be asking me how much they want for some of this stuff because some of this stuff is not yet for sale but let's keep it moving all right we got another new lincoln over here it's like lincoln heaven in here now i just seen one of these on the street it's crazy when you see cars on the street and you know they're just now starting to be on the street rather you're just now starting to like see them on the streets and they end up in here I like the wheels the wheels kind of chopping ain't they um like i literally just seen one of these so oh look at that and oh my god we got an aviator though it's the aviator, so this is a bigger Lincoln. And as you can see, man. Whoa, is this a hybrid? Usually the orange stuff means hybrid. I ain't know that. Yep, and this is another 2020. Oh, my wrist, y'all know we having problems with the wrist. So we can't even get that up. Let's look in the back. Okay, you got a that's electric okay oh man this thing is nasty oh yeah this thing is nasty they trying to do lincoln nasty yo check me out that's like mercedes style y'all can't tell me that's kind of like ain't mercedes style right there look at the button you push the button to get out the door like the corvette y'all see it man look at the seats nice seats you got the, the lincoln emblem right here can y'all see that Yep. Wow. Fold. It's a button. Interior nasty. Center console. Let me get out the way. Let's see, this is open. So, wow. It's got a console in here that you just push down. Armrest, third row seating, big roof again in this one with the suede, by the way. That Lincoln nasty. With the suede, by the way. That look good. Let's see if this thing got some power, man. 6,000 miles. Oh, got to push the little thing. I'm trying to open it. Think that the whole knob is going to come out, but you just push that like that. This might be suction, too. Oh. No, I don't think it's suction, y'all. Nope. Come on, open it down, though. 
That probably will get annoying sometimes. Oh, that probably will get annoying sometimes. Do we got power? Nope. So, you see the airbag went out. Boy, them seats look like they just hug you so tight. This is nice. It's nice. I like it. I just seen one of these on the street too. Let's see if it'll open. Uh, I still ain't popped it open. But this is definitely the same, kind of like on the other one. Steering wheel. We can't really see the steering wheel, but it does have that little knob like that other Lincoln had over there. And here's your center console. So they got your drive modes. Um, this park reverse neutral drive, just like the other one. Get a bigger screen. Your button is right here for the push to start. Um, like I said, long roof all the way in the back. There go the seats for that one right here. Dang, what happened to this seat? It's kind of mess messing up because of the water, I guess. Center console. And... A band-aid with oh some you can oh that's for your phone you don't see that that's cool so what y'all think about the new lincoln man new lincoln looking nice yo if i say so myself the aviator looking nice brand new 2020 joint let's see if it can open now yep it did yep this definitely definitely a hybrid with all this stuff going on why the dang on thing don't open up that's all you give me I can hardly work on this thing. You don't even be able to work on this thing if you open it. So it's a hybrid. Y'all know I'm not a fan of the hybrids, but this is definitely a hybrid, man. 2020. Got the computer right here. So, yeah, man. Um, I'm not sure if this one runs and drives yet, but brand new 2020, man. The 2020s, man. They be, they be messing up the 2020s and they be in a... See, that's another 2020 Corolla, probably. Yep, 2020. So, what y'all think about it? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys. Surprisingly, this one has a clear title. Um, well, it's not clear. It's rebuilt. But we got your Mercedes. Oh, man, that thing looking low. We got your Mercedes. Oh, they done the bashed it. I got to look back at the list. Y'all know what this is, though. They don't got no money on it as of right now. That's just, you know, it's a couple more days until the sale. Uh, so 2006, um, 115 on the miles. Oh, I ain't even, I don't even know what it is. It's a Mercedes CLS 500C. And it's kind of very compact in here. I don't like the way the new, older Mercedes look. They just, they didn't do too much of a good job to me. It's just like kind of plain Jane to me personally so again this one got a rebuilt title they don't got no money on it right now i'll buy rebuilt titles because you know it's already rebuilt um and i ain't got a word about getting like inspection or anything like that what the heck is this oh okay i see you mercedes okay uh, uh, so yeah man it's just oh they give you a pillow hey so, y'all see what's going on, man. Nothing too special about these things to me, man. Not to me. Let me open this. There you go. Not to me, y'all. Uh, I like the way they look on the outside. They, they are pretty, like, sleek, but, you know. Dang, they blacked the heck out that windshield. So yeah, regular, you know, motor. You know the motor that they always put in here, the little V8 type, you know what I mean? String bean. All right, y'all, we'll keep it moving, man, but with a new Corolla. All right, y'all, let's keep it moving, though, man. I can't find my car, and if I walk down this way one more time and I don't see it, not one more time walking down this way, I don't see it. Forget that, AVO. It's a Chevy AVO. That's what I'm looking for, AVO. AVO, I pronounced it right, A-V-E-O. Y'all let me know in the comments below. Let's keep it moving. And all right, uh, forget that AVO, I can't find it, man. So I gotta get up out of there, got stuff to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It is gonna be a wrap. Make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com and uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. Shout out to the whole Hustle Nation. It's your boy Ray, Big Play Ray. I'm gone, what they doing? Peace. Subscribe. Yes, sir. We're getting it in, you in are, the pandemic. You already know, man. Don't give a damn about no depression. Recession, we gonna make it happen. You already know, man.